This is non-calculator question number 10. College Board asks which of these four choices has a graph that's always greater than or equal to negative 1. One of our options is to graph all four curves, and if you can't tell by looking, that's probably the best approach. So choice A is an absolute value which would normally look like this, shifted down by 2. Since y of 0 is 0, I'm sorry, absolute value of 0 is 0, y of 0 is 0 minus 2 is negative 2, which is less than negative 1, so choice A does not work. Choice B is a parabola with vertex at the origin shifted down by 2. And again, that shifts the vertex below y equals negative 1, and at x equals 0, 0 squared is 0, and 0 minus 2 is negative 2, which is less than negative 1, so this quadratic does not work. Choice C is a parabola shifted to the right by 2, so instead of the vertex being at the origin, the vertex is at x equals 2, but at y equals 0. This parabola opens up with its minimum value at y equals 0, so it is never less than negative 1. It's always greater than or equal to negative 1. Choice C works. And of course, choice D is a cubic, which looks something like this. But we know all cubics have range negative infinity to positive infinity. So they have values that are less than negative 1, and our cubic does not work. The correct answer would be choice C. College Board often asks you about the graph of a function, and it helps to be familiar with the absolute value, quadratics, and cubics. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.